So it has been reported that sadly Delonte West is back on the streets after being sober or off the streets for a couple months. I don't know exactly how long, maybe even a year um, after we found out that Mark Cuban went and picked him up off the streets. I think most people know that there were videos going around of him on the streets um, begging for money, obviously on some type of drugs because he was talking about how he was a president and all this other stuff. He's better than LeBron, I think he even said one time. So he's on a lot of drugs that he shouldn't have been on. And Mark Cuban actually reached out and went and found him and picked him up himself, paid for his own, for his rehab, put him in a rehab center. And then recently, like very, very recently, like a couple weeks ago, there was a report that he was going to be trying out for the big three and it was all going to be getting going up from here. And, um, I remember even a couple months ago, maybe a year ago, they were showing videos of him riding horses and uh, playing basketball and showing that he was getting back into shape and things like that. Well, he's just been found back on the street again, begging for money once again. It is really unfortunate this all has to be happening. He was recently arrested and um, obviously relapsed, so he's back on the street begging for money again. This is just such a sad situation. Um, if you are anyone close to him, I don't even know what you do at this point because at this point, it is his fault. He got as much help as anyone's ever going to get from one of the richest people in the world, putting him in a rehab, rehab center, really, really caring about him, not doing it for the, for the publicity at all because Mark Cuban literally said he's doing great, but that is up to anyone that's up to like his family or for him to talk about. I'm not not at. I'm not a jury to talk about it, or I don't know the exact wording, but something like that. Like he's not the one that needs to be talking about it. He would let Delonte talk about it when he is ready, and obviously he isn't because he is back out there and doing what he should not be doing. And this just doesn't feel real because this dude made 15 million dollars throughout his NBA career and salaries alone. So he's made at least $15 million, if not more, and just threw it all away. He just had what we all wish we could have had. We, All of us, we all wish we could have made it to the NBA and made millions of dollars. Well, this dude got it and literally just threw it all away for nothing. Threw it all away to drugs and is now back out on the street begging for money when he should never have had to do this ever because of how much money he made in such a short span in his lifetime he should have been set forever. But instead, he chose the wrong road, obviously. Now, what I think they should do, I think they really need to just get him in. Like, I don't know how much you can do. Because if, if the person says that they don't want help, I don't know how much you can do legally. Because, like, if they don't want help, well, then you can't really force them. Like, they're an adult. So I don't know how much they can do. But he really needs to be put back in that center be kept in there longer that like I don't know if he just does not care or what because it seems like he he had to have at some point gotten back into a right state of mind because he had been out off the streets for so long and then all of a sudden he was just like well I miss it like I want to go back out there I need to do, like he must have obviously had a craving relapsed and then been back out on the streets which obviously is not a smart thing to do, is not the right thing to do, and I really feel bad for him and his family. Well, I don't feel bad for him, actually. I'm not going to say I feel bad for him. In a way, I do, but in a way, I don't. This is a bad decision he, decision he made once where he got to a certain point where he couldn't really control it, and he uh, was obviously addicted, but then he got the best help you're ever going to get. He got put in, I'm sure, one of the best rehabilitation places there is and got someone that really really cared and really 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 wanted to help him that definitely did not have to do what he did in Mark Cuban he did not have to do that and he just stepped up and went and helped him there was no reason that Mark Cuban out of anyone had to do it is where's his family and all this he has family where is his family doing and all, during all of this and then he went out and did it again that's on him that's absolutely on him. I still feel bad, but it is the second time. And once it's the second time, it's like, all right, dude, like 
How much can someone help you before it is your fault? How much? And I'm sure these guys were giving him everything he wanted. Like, if he was like, oh, I need this, 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 and instead of doing drugs, I'm sure they would have given it to him. So it is completely his fault. He really needs to gain control of himself because this will ruin his life, and it already has started ruining his life pretty bad. Pretty bad. And I know if he got done with all this, got, like, social media or whatever, he probably already has social media, but actually got back on it, then I know people would be willing to donate to him. People did donate. There was definitely, like, GoFundMes, things like that. There were fundraisers for him. And where did that money go? Did it just go to his rehab? Which it could have. But obviously that didn't work. Because if he's being spotted out on the road the, the road again, begging for money, that's terrible. If I saw him on the side of the road, I would feel devastated. There was a video of him where he was begging for $2. Two dollars. That's how desperate this dude is. I don't know what he's gotten himself into, but obviously it's not good. He doesn't seem like himself at all. This man used to be one of the fittest people in the world because he's a professional athlete, but now he's one of those guys that is just in one of the worst situations possible. He's he's literally killing himself, and that's that's horrible. I don't know what you can do. Um, other than, I guess, report him for doing these activities that are illegal and then throwing him, hopefully, in a rehab center instead of jail or prison because he he obviously has not been able to help it very well himself and he needs someone else to help him out because he's not doing it and the last people that helped him aren't doing it. This is not on Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban did his job that no one asked him to do and when it helped him if I'm Mark Cuban I'm like well bro I helped you there's no more second chance bro like you know you made a mistake we were here to fix it and then you went and did it again like what what else can someone do to help this guy because in reality he is the problem like he is the one making these decisions and Obviously, it wasn't like he just relapsed and then was out on the, like, just like when he relapsed and then came back to whoever he was staying with. No, he's straight up back on the street. So I'm curious if we get any further information about this. I feel like we won't. I feel like they'll try to keep it out of the public eye. But um, if you guys have any more information I did not state in this video, let me know because I am curious how he ended up back on the streets. Who let him back on the streets, streets, which I know he's a grown man, so he can make his own decisions. But still, it is very, very sad that this man has just thrown his life away. And it's completely his fault. It is completely his fault. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, though. Subscribe and turn notification bells to all. I'll see you guys later in the next upload. Peace out, my friends, and see you guys next time.